We have big, big news today. The new Hourglass Holiday 2022 palettes have come out. They've launched. I'll have the link down below to shop. And I am going to give you all of the information, share with you my thoughts, all of that good stuff. I don't have the palettes, though I did order and pray overnight. So hopefully I will very soon. But today I just want to go over the details with you guys, my feelings, all of that. If you're new here, I do these dedicated shopper drops, my thoughts, videos for new makeup launches and let you know what I'm thinking, what's going through my head because, ooh, I'm so excited for this one. I actually filmed the shopper drop this weekend, but I just feel like now that it's actually available, the graphics are so much better than what was supposed to be in that video. The information I have is much more abundant. We're just gonna scrap that and I'm just gonna I'm just going to redo it and share with you my absolute joy. I got a lot of information from a few blogs this weekend, which is why I was able to film it. But there even is new stuff here for me today to share to you. So I have technically what is the early access link. So if you just go on their website, unless it's changed, you aren't able to find it. So make sure you go ahead, shop there. That link, it is affiliated. So just keep that in mind. And when you click on it, it's going to take you to this page. All right. And you'll see we have the three palettes available here. And then the details are all down here, whatever, whatnot. What is really cool that I did not realize, you guys know three palettes were coming out. The elephant, the tiger, and the butterfly. But... If you don't like the artwork, like I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of how the butterflies look, press customize your palette. Then you can pick the color palette that you prefer, and then you can pick the artwork that you prefer at no additional cost, which I think is so amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now, I did pick up the palettes as they were intended with their artwork just to not have confusion with you guys since I do review but if I wasn't a makeup reviewer probably would not have picked up all three and also my favorite artwork is the tiger palette <laughs> that's my favorite but I do also like the elephant so if I had picked up two I would have done these two artwork wise anyways let's go ahead let's take a look at the palettes I'm gonna blow up the picture over to the side so that you can see what we're working with here as you can see the palettes are $85 each they are a very very pricey little thing to pick up for the holidays but these are palettes that every single year they're one of my favorite holiday launches one of the ones I look forward to the most and always one of the ones where I look back if they're always my most used I get you know I get my money's worth out of them I would say they're great quality even though they're boring and repetitive I find myself even with the new launch every year continuing to reach for these so these are ones I highly recommend I have seen them go on sale in the past for the past couple of years so if you do want to hold off there might be a chance of especially the ones that don't sell as well since there are three this year but for me they're worth the $85 as I said I did go ahead and pick up all of these so these are definitely a shop for me but if I were not a makeup reviewer I'm going to share with you the ones that I would not have picked up so at the bottom of the website it says that these are three limited edition ambient lighting edit unlocked palettes available exclusively for the holiday season this year and the artwork which is so different than what we're used to from hourglass is actually created by a world-renowned illustrator illustrator Katie Scott. I personally am not familiar with her but I think it's amazing that they did decide to collaborate with an artist on this. I will say as far as the packaging I love the animals. I love animals. I think it's so so cute. It's not what I would expect from Hourglass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie you guys. I don't want to say it cheapens it but it's definitely different. Very pop arty but I love it because I love animals but not really the aesthetic of Hourglass but who cares. So these six pan palettes are a celebration of the natural world hence the animals and they are including both best-selling and brand new shades of blush bronzer and highlight. I'll get into that and interesting five percent of the profits from this are going to the support the non-humans right project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals so that's a pretty cool concept actually normally 1% of their proceeds do go to that organization but for this specific launch 
5%, which for any $5, that's a good chunk of change. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the first palette that they have here, the Elephant palette. Immediately of all the palettes, this is the one that my eye is drawn to the most. So this is one that I would definitely pick up if I were not a makeup reviewer. I love the pinky toned blushes in here. This is by far the most pinky toned palette. My guess is that this is going to work for medium skin tones. I cannot confirm nor deny until I have these in my hands. But this looks like it's going to do okay in terms of variety here for skin tones. But for me, I think the bronzer potentially might be a little dark. We'll see. You're probably going to have to use a lighter hand. Again, those blush tones are gorgeous. The highlights look really gorgeous. So this palette... It's really awesome because only two shades are pre-existing, which is going to be an issue you'll see in some later palettes. But I'm okay with the two that they have in here that are pre-existing because Dim Light is such a good finishing powder. And then Soft Light, I actually like to use for an extremely natural highlight. So I think that these are also very good layering powders as well. Soft Light creates a beautiful base for another highlighter on top. So just keep that in mind. And then we have a new beaming strobe light powder. In this photo, it looks like it has potential to be dark, but we'll see. I don't think this palette's gonna be very good if you have a fair complexion. The lustrous bronze light looks like it's gonna be quite warm and could look muddy if I use too heavy of a hand, but we'll see. I love the finish of their bronzers and they're usually quite blendable. So I figure I could probably make that work for me. Incandescent coral and radiant rose. Both of those blushes, chef's kiss right up my alley. So this is the one that I'm probably the most excited about in terms of how often I think I'm going to wear it. What is mostly me? This elephant one looks so good. Now let's move on here to the tiger one, which I know a lot of you are excited about. First of all, it's my favorite packaging. And this one you can see runs warm. I would say for deeper complexions, this is the one that I think will fit the bill the most. I want to see in person before I speak, but some of these powders do look as though they might be too deep for me. We've been begging Hourglass to come out with multiple palettes because people love these palettes so much and we want everybody to be able to wear them. Last year they came out with two, which honestly, it worked for light and medium skin tones, but they still, in my opinion, didn't have one that was dark enough. So I'm hoping in person that this runs a little bit darker. I did pick it up to check, but this one also is warmer as well. I know that this one is going to look beautiful on medium complexions and Asian complexions. I only say that because <laughs> my mom is Asian and I know this would look really great on her. So let's take a look. This one also has four new shades and then two existing shades. So the two existing shades, you'll see Transcendent Light, which is a finishing powder. Not really going to work for me. I've never tried this color before, I don't, I believe, and it would work as a finishing powder on me. I could probably finesse it as a bronzer, but we'll see. An iridescent rose. Love the look of that. Again, something tells me I'm going to have to use a light hand, but I think that one I can make work for me. Then we have the four shades. So the Brilliant Glow Strobe Light Strobe Powder. Medium skin tone friendly is what it looks like to me. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> this burnished glow blush looks stunning. I hope that it will be able to work for me. I've been into orange blushes more than I've been into in my entire life, so I'm hoping that that will look good on me because it's looking real good in the pan. A Divine Strobe Light, again, assuming it's not going to look that good on me, but looks great for medium to deep complexion. And then Copper Flash Strobe Light, which is supposed to be a highlight powder, would have to finesse it as a blush on me. But what I'm really happy about is that they actually are showcasing this on models of deeper complexions. So that is definitely their intention with this one. So fingers crossed. I really hope it turns out good because this is a beautiful warm palette and I think that a lot of you are going to like this one. It probably isn't going to work out the best for me, but that's okay. <laughs> and then let's take a look finally at the last one here. This is what is called the Butterfly Palette and this is the one, well, I don't know. You know what? If I was not a makeup reviewer, I would not have purchased the Tiger Palette, by the way, because it was clearly too deep for me. This one would have caught my eye, the butterfly one, 
but here is what is making me have drawbacks. Three shades are new and three shades are pre-existing. So this is the palette with the least new shades. And when it comes to these Hourglass palettes as a collector, I want as many new shades as possible. We're not getting that here. So the pre-existing shades, Ethereal Light, which I have. I have Incandescent Light. It's a great color, but it's a highlight powder. <laughs> and Diffused Light, Finishing powder, again, very beautiful, great setting powder. I use that one in my makeup kit. Bleh. The, uh, the ones that are pre-existing, like, they're good, but I felt like, at least in the Elephant palette, the pre-existing ones, I love those. I felt like they were great layering powders, very versatile. This one, they're kind of boring. But here are the new ones, Soft Flush Blush, which honestly looks like she could work on a medium complexion. Looks quite deep. This looks like a medium complexion friendly palette. The Sunset Glow Blush, once again, very pretty. I'm not gonna deny it. A little bit on the more red tone, which I think is nice, and then a golden straw powder. Now, the models that they have are Light Skin that are demoing this palette right here, so I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work. The intention of this looks like it's not really for those with a medium to deep complexion. Hmm, interesting. Let me take a back look back at the Elephant palette. The Elephant palette, I didn't notice this, they are intending more so for medium complexions. Okay, because the models they have for the Elephant are medium. So in their eyes, the creators, the palette best suited for light skin is going to be the Butterfly, for medium skin is the Elephant, and for deeper skin is the Tiger palette. Okay, very interesting. So going back, if I were not a makeup reviewer, I probably would only pick up the Elephant palette. I would be tempted for the Butterfly, but since I own half the shades in it, it just wouldn't make sense for $85. I'm really excited for the Tiger palette, even though it won't be for my complexion. I feel like it can make some work for me because I love the warm burnt tones in here. I'm excited about these palettes. I cannot wait to get these in my hands and review them for you guys. Let me know if you're going to pick these up. What are your thoughts? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling better now. We will see once they are in my hands, but I think that these palettes are beautiful. I love what they've done with the packaging. I love that they're donating 5% of profit to an organization for animals. I love that there are three. And all three, if you ask me, are very different. The elephant one is more pink. The tiger one is more warm and bronzy. And the butterfly one, it looks a little dull to me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it has more reddish toned blush. I don't know. The vibe of the butterfly honestly isn't as cohesive to me as the other two palettes, if, if you ask me. I, apparently, I don't like the butterfly one, but I will circle back once we have that. So I'm really excited. I'm excited that these are available now for you guys to pick up. I will have all of the information for that down below if you are interested. And until then, hopefully I see you soon with these guys in my hand. Oh, also, by the way, quickly, point of these videos is also for you to help me with my reviews. So if there are any questions that you have, any swatch comparisons, anything like that that you want to see comment down below okay peace out bye guys love you i have a busy day ahead of me